Everybody, this is not a spring chicken today. I know you can hear it. We happen to be out at the beach today. <laughs> Which we don't generally get to do anymore. I know, but today is Monday, and Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I'm yeah. um, being officially celebrated here in the United States, but it's also the inauguration of President Barack Obama. Oh, yeah. He really got belligerent this morning. He, he's more or less going to crush every business in the country. He's going to teach the people the lesson of their life that are, have, that are making money. And that uh, one guy said uh, this morning, he said that it was the most belligerent. He'd been doing this for 40 years. Speech? No, he's just telling people that it's my way or the highway. Oh, boy. He said that um, that's how it works. And they, it did not go over well with a lot of people, including major newspapers. That were there covering the thing because he, he you know, that uh, they're threatening, telling people what's going to happen. And you, you know, you're going to accept what we're going to do. And just, you know, we're going to take all, you're going to, ta you know, you're going to have more taxes raised. We're going to do this for the, for the working people. When the working people woke up and found themselves being hit by a big tax increase they didn't know they were going to have. You mean starting with their first paycheck in January? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and businesses got hit by more, plus health care is going to hit them. You're paying for everything today. Yeah, I mean, despite that, it is all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, well, that's what they said, that uh, Obama has got 47 Republican votes in the House of Representatives, and that's all he's got, is 47 votes. Wait, 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 in the House of Representatives? He's got 47 Republican votes, and that's all he will need to get a job, things passed, is those 47 votes. But they're, the problem is those people are going to have their asses tossed out of office as soon as they have an election. They're going to take his 47 votes from him mm -hmm. because the Republicans, I mean, the Republicans did not elect them to go to Washington, D.C. and support the president on every issue. And a 50-plus car accident in Ohio. You know, well, weather can get, you know, yes, there are storms there. What happens is people, got, you... You, you crawl up behind somebody because you want to see their lights while you're driving in a storm. Oh, that's And then true. the person, and somebody in front stops and because then they, they can't see stop. anything and everybody hits one another. Well, and the other part is a lot of times, not only were they helping use the lights so they could see, is when you're following behind, you're usually following somebody behind um, with stopping conditions for good weather, not for bad weather. Yeah, and uh, you can't stop. It's an impossibility. And why America should declare bankruptcy. Well, that, that's part of, we're, we'll make a trillion dollar pl uh, plutonium or whatever it is, platinum, titanium uh, coin and we'll print 20 of them off and that will end the national debt, you know, because oh, they, well, they figured that uh, <laughs> the Democrats are, pa are trying to get a bill passed. They've got 200, they've got every Democrat in the House and every Democrat in the Senate wants to pass a thing permanently giving Obama the right to spend as much money as he wants. And they, one of the people said what, uh, actually one of the Democrats said this morning, he's no longer there, said that they don't seem to understand if they lose office, they give the Republicans that uh, response, they give that Republicans that bill. And that basically is not going to make them happy. And, you know, they, they, they said that right now it's all about the Democrats taking the House from the Republicans in 214, which is not going to happen. If they could have taken it, they would have taken it the last time. What, and it, what will happen is that the, the people of the country will be fed up with Obama, and he'll probably lose the Senate also. Mm. And five-year-old girl suspended for bubble gum remark. I know that's just ridiculous. They wanted to take. They wanted to have mental. They want mental observation of a five-year-old, a preschool. What? Yeah, a preschool or you know, kindergarten type. You know, and they they think that she's mentally has mental problems. Be talking about. Bubble gun, you know, you know, like the little bubble gun. You, know, you fill the thing with the bubble solution, you fire bubbles. <laughs> yeah, that that's basic, ridiculous. It, it's 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 a, it's it's political correctness going crazy. That is. But Obama was probably oh, we get them, we can throw them behind bars at five years old, put them in jail for the rest of their lives. They deserve it. That is crazy. And storms turn up lard from World War II shipwreck. Yeah, because it's not going anywhere. You know, if it's in containers, it'll be there for a thousand years, folks. Because it's certainly not going to go bad stuck in that cool water. 
and Saudi Air Force sergeant accused of child rape in Las Vegas. He said it's not a, it's not rape in Saudi Arabia, so they don't know what the problem is. He's not an American citizen, and they said they can't try him for crimes that he did because it's not a crime in his country. But it's a crime in this country. It doesn't make any difference. He's a Saudi, and they'll have to they'll deport him. Oh, so, so what they do is they just deport him. That's right. They but, but yeah, but if Americans do something like that, and then they put country, him in jail. But this is the United States, yeah. where if you if you break the law in this country, they cheer for you. Dallas woman guilty in stepson's dehydration death. Yeah, basically, what happens is you don't give. Uh, you got to give kids water, even if you don't think they should have it when it's really hot. Yeah, 49ers wide receiver under investigation for sexual assault. I know, going to lose their, their right before the Super Bowl game. I find it rather coincidental oh, no. that for the first time in history, two brothers will be coaching against one another, and that San Francisco, who has a good chance of winning the NBA title this year and who won the Major League Baseball title, just happened to have you know, beaten the Atlanta Falcons in the last few seconds of the game. Go yeah. Niners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it, you know, I, I, I quit watching most professional sports the day that I sat there watching J Danny McLean win his 30th victory and the manager of the other team told him, swing at anything that's thrown. I'm sitting, I'm sitting by the coach's box over there and he's telling the batters to come out. He said, he said they, they want this, he said, to swing at anything he throws up there. And the last six batters struck out swinging. Mm hmm so it was. They threw the game so we could get thirty victories on national television. Well, that is kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But I, so it, it sort of ruined this, the thing of seeing a guy win thirty, though. Uh -huh. And TSA to remove controversial X-ray scanners. Yeah, well, it's because Congress was going to stop, stop the money on it. So. Oh, is that what happened? Yep. And Satan is planning rally for Florida Governor Rick Scott. <laughs> I know. What in the world? I know is that, that? It, 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 he's just the opposite. So that he's That's having why, a good one at that. I one. mean. It's like he must be protesting that one. Arizona. No, I just think it's funny. Oh, he does? Arizona yeah. mother gets shocked after daughter's a trip to the dentist. Uh, yeah, find out what actually goes on in a dental chair. Uh, you, if you don't have your teeth worked on, you don't know how really bad. Oh, remember we saw the the, the thing we, was last year. We saw the one movie over at the Oscar screening thing where the woman basically had to go, she had to leave Great Britain to come to the United States for dental treatment. She didn't go back. Because, oh, really? Yeah, so, so because she, dental treatment was far better here. Ah, and Rupert Murdoch wonders if 400-pound woman got that way from food stamps and welfare. Yeah, well, because she, she's pounds. suing him for busting the sidewalk in front of his building. What? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the next one, though. Nearly 30 police called on to break up baby shower brawl. I know. Somebody, baby shower brawl. Somebody didn't, li somebody didn't like what they were given, so <laughs> I hope that a good one. Did not so like. 30 police for a baby shower brawl? Yeah. What then, kind you know, of baby it, shower it, was that one? Uh, uh, just an ordinary one. They didn't like the prisons they were given, so they started a fight. <laughs> you know, that you could have done more. Death toll climbs past 80 in siege in the Sahara. I know. Well, that's the way they do it in other countries. Unlike the United States, they put they do not put up with them, you know, with people breaking their laws. So. Uh, and tell us the truth. What are your hopes, fears for the next year, four oh, years? Uh, this one was not a good one because they all, you know, they said that three out of every four said they want that they they're wanting a change in Congress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did? And that they fear that it, the no change in Congress is going to, they're going to have, okay. Oh, he just started the second term. <laughs> I know. Delhi gang rape case to start in the fast track court. Well, actually, because they already lost, the, the government did it because the government doesn't care about women's rights. And they know that the fast tracking a case in a country is illegal, which means the higher courts will throw it out. But any conviction they get will be thrown out immediately. And library prank sends Armstrong books to fiction section. Oh, I know. First of all... I that, that Armstrong stuff just still does not make sense to me. Well, no, I mean, he willingly is going to go to jail for 50 years because he felt bad. Yeah, Yeah, something's behind He's going to forfeit $150 million, get all his, everything taken away from him so he can go to jail. <laughs> Yeah, something's like somebody should put him in. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they, there's something uh, behind that one. Well, they, see, the trick is all the all the people are saying that they know he's lying. Yeah, they, they know he's lying. It's 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 ridiculous. I know if they if they know he's lying, he's lying about his lies. So. <laughs>
So then they don't know what the truth is, right? That's right. And diplomat named Algeria attack leader and captured one-eyed Jack. I know. That, that, there, there's, not, there's no diplomats in, in foreign countries. And, and plane from New York blows tires and veers off the New Jersey runway. Yeah, that's what generally happens. That's, that's, that is the one dangerous thing about airplanes is blowing tires. Oh, it is? Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. As we're finding out, the Internet can never be depended upon. <laughs> and you like the cloud. There we go. Now the thing won't go off. You believe that? Yeah. <laughs>